Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in Perspective Drawing series. In this video, we are going to take a look in how to mirror objects in two-point perspective. So something like this and something like this. So let's get started. Okay, so I have an object over here which I have drawn out in two-point perspective and as usual I have used my two-point perspective grid as an underlay for this purpose. If you want to know how to draw one of those grids, make sure to check the link in the description. I have already made a video on those. Okay, so here we have an object and this red color plane which you are seeing is our mirror plane. Now the goal is to mirror this object on the other side. Before we begin on how to mirror this object, it would be kind of uh, easy if we first enclose this object with a box. So first I will do that one. Make sure to keep these lines as light as possible. Okay, so as you can see, I have enclosed the object within a box. Now let's name this box as A, B, C, D and the far corners as A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. Now first, we will mirror the whole box on the other side. And to do that, first let us take the ground plane over here or the ground line of this object which is CD and we will kind of extend it till where we want our mirror plane. So basically we can place this mirror plane anywhere we like. So I'll just extend it till this point over here and I'm going to use a red color pen to just be clear on this. Okay, till here and I'm going to do the same thing for the line C dash and D dash as well. Okay, so from this point I'll just establish the mirror plane. Like this. Okay, so now we have a proper mirror plane from which we have to mirror our object. So the first step over here is try to establish the points A, B, C and D on the other side. And to do that, take the whole object until your mirror plane, which is until these two points over here. and Consider this as a complete rectangle and using our multiplication technique just uh, kind, of, kind of replicate the points on the other side. And if you want to know more about how to multiply and kind of, kind of divide the things in perspective, make sure to check the links in the description down below. So we get a center point, take this point, run a line to the vanishing point which will cut the mirror plane over here. Now first let us take the point A and run a line through this new intersection point we have got until it intersects the ground plane which I am extending right now. Great, so just run a line from point A through the intersection point which will intersect over here. So this point is your D on the other side. 
Next, take the point B and run a line through the same intersection point. So this is your point C on the other side. Now I'll just extend the top line to go to the left vanishing point. And from point C and D, I will just draw vertical lines. Make sure that these lines are perfectly vertical. Okay, so now we have established this portion on the other side basically. Now we'll just complete the box on the other side. Okay, so there you have it. So this is basically point A, this is point B, and this is A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash. So now we have perfectly mirrored the box on the other side. Now what is remaining is that we need to find out these two points over here so that we can get the proper angle. and Establishing this point over here on the other side is quite easy. We just have to run, I mean take this point and run a line to the left vanishing point. So this is the point over there. Now we need to find out this point over here. Now there are, you can again use the same Diagonal, diagonal method or just observe A and B and this point is roughly in between the points A and B. So over here as well, I can just take somewhere over here which will be okay. And once we have that point, I will just draw this line. Oops, I made a mistake over here the line should be on the other side because we are mirroring the objects this point is basically over here and I need to draw a line like this great now all that is remaining is just complete your object now we have all the information that we need. Now it's just time to complete the object. I will use a darker colored uh, marker to run lines on the perimeter of the object. This is how you can mirror any object in two point perspective. The goal here is to complete or encompass your object within a box and then first mirror that box on the other side. Once you have that, you can begin to carve your object from that box. It is very, very simple. And if you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button and share it with your like-minded friends. And if you need any help in perspective drawing, just let me know in the comment section down below. I will make sure to make a video on that subject. Okay, I think that's it for this video. I will see you in my next one. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.